blissfully unaware of the damage protracted war can wreak on their idyllic cluster of homesteads, the villages of Tickle are pure of heart and unblemished of face and neck. Welcome to Tickle. Hey YouTube, it's FireWizard23, and welcome back to Let's Play Dungeon Keeper. Alright, so our map. We got another rival keeper up here in the upper right corner. Here's our dungeon down here. Got a lot of expansion to do this episode. And I've turned my camera, which I don't like. Let's An entrance has been claimed. readjust that right there. Okay, first thing we're going to want to do is seal ourselves off. So if you call it a theme here, that's kind of what we want to do in a lot of these levels, is seal ourselves off so we don't have to deal with nasty westies. You know what I mean, viewers. I mean, you're not one of those nasty westies, are you? <laughs> Alright, uh, so yeah, go right along here. I'm sealing off, I'm going to seal off the wall here, there, as well as the pathway I created. And up here a good long distance. Let's seal us off that way. That way we just don't have any nasty intrusions. Let's go one square lower there. And we seal it off. A couple extra games will be helpful. You do not have enough gold. You do not have enough gold. You need to build That's fine. for your creatures. Ah, fly. It'll be fine for a while. So what to talk about while those guys are sealing off the dungeon? Uh, let's see. Well, it's been a couple of days since I've recorded this. Again, I, I apologize that the upload schedule on this has been really kind of poor, but this really requires me to have a good amount of time to sit down. I have to be in the mood for it, because these do take a while to, to record versus my regular episodes. And then, of course, there's my other projects, and then, of course, you know, my other projects in my life, and, of course, my other channels. <laughs> And then I have to have a, reg a regular life on top of that. You know, I have work and all that. So, this isn't something I can record all the time. You need to build a lair for creatures. What happened that off just yet? Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'll give you your lair. Because <laughs> if there's a dig command, the imps will do that first versus what I'm asking them to do. So... I'm finding that something like this is a good time for me to just talk about stuff, because then they're just doing things and I can't really change what's happening. We'll just watch here. Once all these 11s go into this question mark area, I know that they finished off the ceiling of the dungeon. You so what else is going to happen? Your creatures. <laughs> Unfortunately, my lack, of, uh, my lack of finances, not really much happens in my, da my daily or weekly life. Which is kind of disturbing. I realized only a couple days ago that, like, wow, it's been three months since I, t since I turned 30. And it's just kind of like, really? That much time has gone by? It's like, well, yeah, it has. <laughs> Times are getting col colder here. We're heading towards, we're in autumn now. So things are chilling up. I got my long sleeve shirt on today. Bit of a chilly morning. But the sleeping weather is awesome. Need to build it has been so creatures. awesome sleeping lately. It's been so nice and comfy. Okay, they're taking care of that still. So I've been so happy about that. So what's been happening in the news? Ah, eh, just the election debacle. I'm like, ugh, I just don't care. I don't even vote. I don't care about this election crap. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm of the belief that whoever the, whoever the hell gets into election, whoever the hell gets into office, like, not really that much changes. changes. Yeah, I like Obama. I'm not going to stand there and say I don't like Obama, but... And, like, things don't, I don't think things really massively change whether we have one president or another. I think there's a big political bureaucracy... The United States, and it just—it doesn't really change. Things creatures. don't really change. It's not like one year we have. Okay, maybe they're trying to help with healthcare this year, but it's not like this year we have you know universal. These four years we have universal healthcare. Then these next four years there's free college education for everybody. I mean, it just doesn't happen. Uh, as we see now, everyone's heading towards the question mark thing, so they're finishing off with that. Let's get them down here and start digging out the gold. This and the imps will come my way. 
I just want to want them to dig something out here. You'll understand this in a minute. There's gold seams down there, but there are also gold seams up here. Also, another little gold seam up here that I will want them to investigate. So let's start just digging out some of this for ourselves. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jeez. Jeez, the assistant is a whiner. Your creatures demand a lair. Your creatures think you are a douchebag. You must build a treasure room. You should fix store this. gold. I'll build one on good night. Okay, we got this here. So we're effectively sealed off from any kind of enemy attack at this point, because you can get attacked by your enemy based on how aggressive you they need to build are. A lair for your creatures. Speaking of which, how we doing? Digging away, because they're dig, dig, digging away. This could take some time here. And they dig everything out. I want you to see everything on camera, that I'm doing everything I say I'm doing. Okay. Doesn't mean I can't give my creatures a friend to do a slap down again. Move it! You need to build a lair for your creatures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You must build a Where's my little fly getting pissy? Alright. Um. Okay, we're back. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. You know, I just want to make sure that my audio and my video don't get, like, massively desynced in these. So my people are still digging here. Come on, move it! Move it! Dig a little faster. You need to build a lair for your creatures. Thank you. Yes! Yes, yes! <laughs> Industrious little bastards, aren't they? When given the proper motivation. Okay, it seems like they've dug out everything. Move it! Now you may think, oh, why not get the gold the gold rooms like somewhere around here? The treasure room, that way they can put all the treasure there, right? I actually don't want to put the treasure room there. I would like to put the treasure room actually up here. Once a certain imp begins. Faster! Not all day. <laughs> I really should start putting this treasure in a treasure room so I can start using it to make rooms. I also thought to think about... There is... I must thank Nintendo Capri Sun for this. There is a... idea that I've had bumping around for a couple years now that I'd like to actually show everybody, and I've been concerned what kind of medium to put that idea in. It's not like something I can really write. I mean, I could write it, but, you know, my writing, unfortunately, despite the fact that I love it, it's taking so long for me to actually do anything. And so I thought, well, maybe this might be the right idea, because he put up his Koopa Kid comic, and I'm like, then I can do something like that. I could. So I'm going to do something similar to what he did with the Koopa Kid comic and make still panels of action for this idea. Not sure how long it's going to take me, but, I, but I'm pretty committed to this at this point. That's something I'd like to do. Once I actually find time to sit down and do it. Ah, let's pick up our gold here. Let's get into the treasure room. Treasure room. There we go. Get some of that gold into the, tre into the treasure room. There we go. All right. Got a library that just start attracting appropriate creatures. Put a big hatchery right in the middle here. You need to build a lair for your creatures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll build a lair for my creatures. I'm good and ready. Ish. Get to the treasure room. A hatchery. Put a layer down here. There, Mr. Fly, you happy? You can come make a layer. Ish. Alright. Alright. Okay. 
exercise, and we should have a good place for people to exercise. But I'm here. Let's kind of try to put that away from the layers. That way it doesn't make a lot of noise. I'll put a lot of my layers down here. I'll put the other rooms, like, in other places. And it's going to take some time for my imps to bring all the gold to the treasure room, but I think it's worth it. Big layers for everybody. We have a lot of space here to make room, so do not be shy about your construction. There we go. Okay. There's. I want a nice big room. It is paid you can probably guess what I'm going to do with this room. Ooh, 223. Ooh, um, ooh, that's going to break the budget right there. And we will connect this directly to the hatchery. There. We're going to want to keep the majority of the noise away from certain types of areas, though. We'll connect it here, but we're not going to connect it the other way. run into a wall here. Literally. Uh, let's put it right here. Oh. Squares. Thank you. So like I said, we got one of the rival keeper here. We also have uh, we have some heroes to contend with as well. They're few and far between on this level, but they are there. We can connect this way. He's breathing. I never realized that like, you can actually see him breathing. I never realized that when he's resting. The vile demons. Research faster. <laughs> oh, we got all this treasure down here. Come on. <laughs> Back to the treasure room. has been researched. I am doing test runs of these rooms just to make sure that I'm doing everything I can with them. Doing the best I can on these. Oh, these are uh, worlds. I'm doing, I'm doing test runs to make sure I'm doing good with them. <laughs> the only problem with doing the these separately in pieces is that I'm forgetting to look at my clock to make sure I'm not running over my 10 minute or so bound I have for myself. A new spell has been researched. Gold. Get gold. Let's try to help these guys, because if they're trying to bring treasure back, they'll do that instead of, like, say, reinforcing the walls of the dungeon to make rooms more efficient. Where is he? Faster! And just to help these guys out, let's drop pile demons in here. But that, that's smart, but they can research. Guard post. Flies also can research, but I'm not going to bother throwing a fly in there. It's a bit ridiculous. Dropping off all their treasure. <laughs> Cadbury bunny. <laughs> um, yeah, what else can I talk about? Um, it's getting colder. I talked about that. A new spell has been researched. 
can't really think of much else to talk about. What would you guys like to see me talk about? You know, throw, throw me comments and throw me comments down below. What what would you like to see me talk about? You know, I I've gotten comments that people feel like I don't really talk that much and they wish I did. It's like, what would you like me to talk about? What kind of things would you like me to actually touch on? Because I tend to focus more on the game. I'm that I'm that kind of gamer that I don't really. I, I guess I'm not that verbose. I mean, I, th I think people would disagree with that if you had me in certain different circles. They would say like, no, he actually is quite a talker, but. I think it's more when we're in, you know, certain conversational settings. I like to talk about things. I'm not really someone who just kind of jabbers randomly when there's not really something to jabber about. Ah, now what I'm gonna do with this big room. A large workshop it should start attracting trolls. Drop off my bile demons, who will love doing their work in there. I'll drop off a fly to do some research in the library, just to help out the warlocks. See, all the monsters have kind of made their own layers, like, like the bile demons layer, just the warlocks layer. Uh, there's a fly layer here, I believe. Yeah, fly layer, and it's also where the demon spawn made their nest. Invisibility. We can now make creatures invisible. This could be very helpful, especially when imps are trying to claim enemy territory. Because people won't be able to see them. Unless, of course, they have monsters who can see them, such as, for example, ghosts. Alright. <laughs> These guys are working hard. Training up. They're reinforcing dungeon walls. Loud room. Searching hard. And though I'm realizing that this kind of game is one where I actually don't have to focus a lot on individual actions because most of the monsters tend to take care of their own business. Oh god, we have a barracks. Okay, barracks I'm gonna put way down here. We kinda have this little weird space right here. I'm just gonna put a 4x4 barracks. I found it's not really necessary to have a huge barracks, just enough to get the attraction going for orcs. Let's see, what is this gonna talk about? Um, I think I'm, I probably didn't mention this, but I have a list here on my tech desk I have right here of games I realize I want to play and finish. Like, just, you know, games I feel like, you know, you know, games that, like, I really, really like, but maybe, or haven't, haven't played and haven't really fit, and haven't even attempted to finish. Like, recently, let's see, we got, uh, Magician, uh, NES, Crystallis, Dragon Warriors 4 and 2, I've already beaten 1. Uh, the Kirby games, which I haven't played a lot, though admittedly, I don't like how Kirby controls. I really do not like how he controls. I don't like that pressing A makes him jump, but you have to press up to make him float. Did they, did they fix that in the later Kirby games? Tubes and Treasures. Ultima 4 I would like to finish at some point. I feel bad that my LP just kind of died with that. Here's a prison. Put a prison here. I'd be a little far into the dungeon, but this is a prison. Uh, uh, Super Castlevania 4, which I actually did recently beat, I was really happy about my, with myself. I did have to use save states and cheat, yeah. We've got... I missed it, there we go. We've got... I'm reading the list here, not even looking at the screen, I'm just letting what happens, happens. Uh, Harvest Moon for the SNES, a Kirby Superstar, again, another Kirby game. Legend of the Mystical Ninja, Lost Vikings, La Mulana, Cave Story, Immortal for the NES... Oh, I have Cave Story twice. Puss in Boots, Swords and Serpents, Legacy of the Wizard. Also, have Death Bots here. I just haven't played that in a long time. I gotta find an emulator, though, that will play the NES version of it. Because <laughs> I can't really find one that will. Okay. Our next order of business here in this level is I want to create another treasure room up here to start digging out the gold up here. Though I just realized I haven't actually dug up the gold in the other spot. That might be something I want to do first. <laughs> so you get so sidetracked talking, you forget the game. A new room has been we got that spot here. Uh, just oh, we have a torture room. Let's make the torture room. They'll start attracting mistresses, the dark mistress, if you will. 